It's been a long time guys, so welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray, and let's crack on. What we've got today is just a short video. A little parcel from Amazon. Not even opened it, but I know what it is. So, as I've got a Vag car, part of the Vauxhall Audi group, I've bought a Carista. I know there's lots of videos out there on Carista, uh, but what a lot of people don't do is they don't use it when they have engine management lights and fault lights on. So I've purposely bought this because I have an engine management light and another light on. Um, so I can actually demonstrate exactly uh, what it does and, and why it does it for the best for a Vag car. Uh, it w does cover other cars. If you look on their website, it will show you. So let's have a look in the box, see what it's like. So it's just basically a, a OB, OBD2 dongle and if you know your Vag cars you should know where the port is. Um, I'll just show you now. It's, there's the port, it's pink. Uh, and it's on the driver's side um, by the accelerator pedal just above. So I do actually have a, a cheap eBay OBD2 reader, uh, but I thought I'd get this because of the many functions it does. Uh, but I'm also going to show you the installation of the software on an iOS device and also um, Carista's website and it shows you a list of uh, other apps that you can use this dongle with and I'm a big fan of talk uh, app on android uh, you can now get it on ios but i actually have the full paid version on android and this was the main decision to buy um the carista dongle uh, because obviously you can program the car to do things like global window closing and opening um get rid of seatbelt beeps stuff like that but the fact that i'll be able to use it with um an android head unit and the Talk app installed, which is my plan, uh, just made it all the more uh, feasible to buy it and use it. So here we are on um, the App Store. Uh, all we have to do is search Carista. And there it is, the very first app. Uh, get the app. So we're just waiting for it to download now and install and then we'll connect it to uh, the dongle in the car and we'll have a look. So there's Carista installed. Let's open Carista and connect it to the dongle. We are using the free one month trial of paid app feature it's just connecting to the dongle that's plugged in the obd2 port if anybody wants to know i'm using a, a 2021 ipad pro 12.9 inch so as you can see on the screen it's pretty basic uh showing battery voltage of 12.2 um with the ignition on number two so click on diagnose and it's going to read the faults and tell me what they are we are connected to the internet because obviously i'm sat in my driveway wow Airbag fault, not come across that. These must be historic faults. So let's have a look at then. Uh, let's have a look at the engine. These are uh, these are specific codes. Now I've recently had the battery out again um, due to issues with the new battery. So 
I suppose the best thing to do is reset. I haven't even got a backup camera. There's no fault showing on that. Airbags one. Again, specific code. Uh, all these are all specific codes to manufacture. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset all the codes, go for a drive, come back, and we'll rescan. I think these. Um, by the looks of it, like I said, I've been having issues with the battery. So I would assume I need a new battery and the, all these faults will go. Uh, it will be my second new battery since owning the car. I do need new wing mirror glasses uh, because they are grubby and water stained. Um... The aircon does work, so I don't know why that. Um, th these, I think these are all to do with the battery. But they're all voltage faults, so it obviously makes sense. Right, so I need a new battery. That's a definite. Need a new math sensor. But that could be a... Yeah... Oh, there you go. There's the, the brake light on the left. Needs to re be replaced. The uh, fault on the dash that tells you about the lamp has now gone out. Right, I'm going to go for a drive now. Uh, back soon. So, we've got three faults after that quick drive. Mass airflow sensor. And something to do with the braking system. The brakes were changed uh, just prior to I when I purchased the vehicle at Christmas. It just had pads and discs on a full service. Um, so, I'm just wondering whether they've... There's an issue there. Or that simply is a battery voltage issue, which is causing the causing the fault to appear. Anyway, let's get to the, the good bits. Um, I will remove the math sensor and give it a clean anyhow. Uh, so I actually have another job to do while I'm under the bonnet so I'll make that another video and I'll show you what I, how I've done but let's go into um, customization <laughs> nearly done okay the first thing my wife complains about when she drives the car is the un having to press the unlock button several times. Now, um, uh, beep and blinks, doors and alarm. Let's have a look at that one. Unlock doors via remote. Yes. She wants this change into all doors on first press. Just easier when you're putting the children in that all the whole car opens. So we'll hit save. That should stop the wife from moaning. Alarm system, auto alarm when doors close, key not in ignition. Alarm system, system disarming, via remote only, delay alarm activation. Okay, so let's get to the dings and warnings. Seatbelt warning, washer fluid warning. Um, I'm not bothered about dings and warnings. I'm quite happy. Uh, instrument language and units. Leave that as it is because uh, lights, bulb checks. Uh, 
the roll on. Leaving home. Oh no. Not the sort of thing. Daytime running lights. Everyone seems to have daytime running lights. Daytime running lights. Um, all lights. Save. I'm going to have it at 30%. And fog lights. I did actually buy a daytime running light kit, which is a resistor and some wiring, and you wire it in. And it, anyway, I decided not to put it on because I knew I was going to get this in the end. Uh, exterior lights. There is a lot of options there. Use front turn signals as parking lights. I've never been a fan of parking lights, to be perfectly honest, unless you live on a street with no street lights. Um, you can have your rear fogs come on as well as, as your parking light uh, flash brake lights in an emergency stop I like that idea <laughs> so I've turned that on although I don't do emergency stops now I'm just looking at the dashboard and my headlights lights come on because it's running as daytime lights although the uh, light switch is on off locking automatically auto lock doors when moving no I don't like that auto unlock doors when key to taking out yeah I like that I like that one so you might as well turn them both on Bundle of options. Mirrors. We don't have seat memory. Um, yes, I, I use the remote to pop the trunk, windows and sunroof. I know global closing... Uh, is actually turned on already because I've, I've done it. Wipers and washers. Yes, I like that. I had that on my previous car. What's in others? Enable remote control buttons when ignition is on. Yes. So there we've got all the, the different customization functions. Um, let's have a look at the service section. I'm going to reset the service indicator because it is on, although it's just it was serviced in uh, December. January... Uh, Sorry, November. And they never set reset the service thing. I've got all the paperwork for it. The full service. Pads and discs and everything. So I'm resetting it. Uh, detailed ETU information. That's good because I want to map the car. So I'll get all the details and do a screenshot for my information. Lots of lights keep coming on because I'm obviously fiddling with stuff. Um, lights are coming on on the dash and stuff. I live very, very close to a large uh, car automotive spurs business which covers a vast area of the northwest of England. So I'll, I'll go around to their depot um, on Monday morning to get a new battery. So here's the information. So, I'll get that. 
Okay, so that's about it for the uh, Carista. There's the live data as well, which is very handy. Uh, but what I'm going to show you next is, is one of the main reasons I actually bought the Carista. I actually got it for half price as well off Amazon. So keep your eyes out. Um, so it cost me about £14 on Amazon. So keep your eyes out for... Tw they, they keep popping up 24-hour deals, half price. Um, so I, that's where I got mine from. Um, so... There's your different uh, live data you can get. So what I'm going to show you now is the reason why I bought the Carista. So now we're on the Carista website. Obviously, you can order through the Carista website and pay the full price. Um, also, check your vehicle. Gets all the correct uh, options. Uh, but what I'm going to show you now is uh, the, the main reason why I bought it. So, th it supports other apps. So, although um, I'm using a one-month free trial... <laughs> I'm going to cancel in my iOS subscriptions the £44.99, which will come out in July. Uh, because once the, free, um, once the free trial has ended in July, I will um, no doubt have, have bought and installed an Android head unit, um, which I also have a double OBD2 adapter, which means I can put the Carista dongle in one of the adapter ends, hide it, in the dash out of the way so it's permanently in and leave the other one stuck underneath which will be used for accessing the ECU and it will be permanently connected to the Android head unit which will when started up uh, will connect to talk so you can have live data on your stereo screen um, there's the talk app uh, it says Android only but you can get talk on iOS now I don't know whether Carista um, protocols are the same um, but there's there's lots to choose from. You can do um, race timing as well with an app. So again, uh, on Android or whatever, you could plug the Carista in and do your 0 to 60 checks uh, on your car and see if you can get them better. Obviously, do it on a road that does 60 miles an hour and make sure you're not putting yourself or anybody else in danger. Uh, but that's about it from me. If you're interested in getting a Carista, have a look on their website. Have a good read before you make a decision. There are other options out there. Uh, My Carly is another one, which is, is, a, is a big one, which everybody loves. But for Vag vehicles, I think Carista seems to be the best option because you get a month's free, um, free trial with it. And I pretty much doubt that you will actually use more than a month's free trial with it because you'll set your car up how you want. And then you'll use one of the other free apps that Carista Ute works with um, to do all your diagnostics work, like Talk. Talk is great for app for diagnostics work. It works. I, I've used it on my Subaru. I've used it on my Focus ST. I've used it on my Type R. Um, so they all work very, very well. So have a look, make a decision, and purchase. Thanks for watching. Next video will be me taking the mass sensor off, cleaning it, and I've got another job to do while I'm under there, so I hope you'll join me. Um, I've kicked myself up the bum, and I'm going to be making more videos. So for now, TTFN, see you soon.